Today we're going to build a Bluetooth speaker using this piece of wood and these components. The speaker, the controls, and the battery and charging cables. So let's get started. So for the wood in this project, I'm just using a, a cutoff piece from a previous project. Uh, I made a bench from a piece of Osage orange slab and this is um, a cutoff from that project. Now it's already in an odd shape, which is kind of really what I'm going for because uh, I wanted an artsy feel rather than just building a box for the speaker to go in. So this hole that I just drilled is for the speaker and then on the back side I'm going to have a little bit of an issue drilling this hole because a, because of a couple of things. Number one, it's Osage Orange. It's really, really hard. And then this is also going into end grain. So I'm going to have some burning here. Uh, it's just going to be a, be a little bit more difficult than it was on the front side. But I finally get down to the desired depth that I need. But this is for the controls where the charging port, uh, the on and off button, that kind of thing is. So I got that done. Now to be able to connect these two, the speaker has to connect to the controls. And so because these are not through holes, I've got to get the wire from one of these holes to the other. So I'm just going to drill through uh, the side of each hole to connect it and create a pathway for the wire. So that worked out just fine. Now I'm just going to clean this up with a sander to get it ready to, for assembly and finish. But first I want to thank Rockler for supporting this project. Um, this is their speaker kit. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description for this product and to Rockler. So go check them out. For the phone stand, I changed my mind a couple of different times on the design. So at first I wanted to have a routed slot or to create a pocket for the phone to sit down into. But that was specifically for my phone. And so if I ever change phones or devices in the future, or somebody else wanted to use this, it just wasn't going to work. So I decided to go with something a little bit more universal. So I've got a piece of Sapili. I'm shaping it to kind of give it the same feel as the block of wood. Uh, and it, it's also going to provide some contrast and match some of the grain in the uh, Osage Orange block. Now I'm going to offset this a little bit to kind of keep the artsy feel and give it a modern look. But the way I'm going to mount this to the Osage Orange block was just the first thing that came to mind. And so I just went with it. So I'm getting it basically level here, making a mark uh, so I can reference that mark. I'm going to make a little bit of mark, a little bitty mark on the end grain of that shelf while I'm referencing the, the line that I just made. And I'm going to make some marks along the Osage Orange block, like four. And those are going to be drilling points. And so you'll see in just a minute what I'm, what I'm going to be doing. But I also need to make a center line on this shelf. And so I've got a centering jig also from Rockler that I'm just going to make a line down the center of that. And then transfer the marks from the Osage Orange block to the shelf and drill holes in both. So I'm probably drilling maybe down a half an inch uh, or so here. And so I... I really could get by with two uh, locations on each one, but I decided to do four. Uh, so I drill my holes uh, in the shelf and the block. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take finishing nails and I'm just going to clip the head off these finishing nails and they're going to act like little dowel rods, if you will. And so a lot of these finishing nails have a little bitty nub of a head on those. Uh, so you can just clip them right off to make them easier to fit into these holes. I'm just going to apply some glue and place them in these holes that I drilled. And so I'm going to have four of these once I get them all in. And so now all I've got to do is just put some glue on the back side of the shelf and just place them over these nails. Now because I measured and everything, everything should slip right into place. And it does. But I have a little bit of trouble with one of these because one of the nails is slightly bent and so I just have to bend that back as I'm pushing this shelf on and then it just it just goes right on. So it worked out really really well and it worked better than I expected. Now I want to go ahead and put the finish on this before I actually put the speaker in and the controls. Uh, it's just so I don't get anything on the components themselves. Now I'm using a water-based polyacrylic. This is my go-to finish uh, for a lot of my projects. I actually used this on the Osage Orange bench uh, when I finished that, but it just looks really good. It cleans up well, and I just I can't be happier with the results. 
so now we can move on to installing the components which is very very simple on the front side it's just a speaker uh, so we have to feed the wires through to the back to connect that to the, to the controls now the battery you can either place into this hole or the back side with the controls um, so it'll, it'll fit in either hole uh, but I just opted to put it on the back side just for the simple fact of if that if I have to remove it to replace or anything like that uh, I fixed it to where I can remove the controls really easily and so I connected everything there everything's color-coded slide that into place and that's it I mean this is the completed speaker so um, really cool project it looks really cool and it's functional you know you can use this for a speakerphone you can use this to listen to music via Bluetooth you know whatever your case is but uh, I really found this to be a super super enjoyable project so if it's something you're interested in check the links out in the description and try it for yourself and create will be memories the bonds made will be everlasting and a legacy will be built. Sometimes teaching is about more than just passing on a skill. Thank you for being here and watching the video. I really appreciate the support. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, I want to encourage you to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I'd love to have you. Check out the links in the description. Uh, there you'll find a website article where we go into more details about this project. And you can check out Rockler and the speaker kit. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.